All right, Shelb Jones of Jones and for CrossFit <clears throat> getting a 205 power snatch. Um, so first thing, Shelby, is that weight distribution we were talking about in the gym. So check this out, what I saw. Um, in your starting position, right, you get down, you get set up. Um, I get that, try and get that butt a little bit lower, but it's not bad. Uh, that chest higher. And then right here, you, which is awesome, uh, you get your eyes up on the horizon, which is pretty good. Um, and, the, and that weight is mainly on the heels right now. Now what you do right before, uh, right before you're about to lift, so you, have, you started good, boom, you went straight into a really good position, and then you rock forward again, which I was talking about, like, keep the weight back on, on your heels and not on your toes. So right here you're back on the heels, which is good. You just got there, right? Eyes in the horizon. And then you start to rock forward. Look how much you rock forward before you even started. Right there. So good. You start you start good. You feel the weight on your heels. And then you're about to lift and then you rock forward. See that? See how much you rock forward? And you bring the toe the weight back on your toes. Right right back to it even before, before you start. Alright? So there, going into it, good. Now see, I think what also hurts too is you're trying to go around your knee. Get those knees back a little bit more. I think what will help too is um, trying to spread the floor with your, with your feet and get, get those knees wide and out of the way, just like, it, like, like you're cueing a squat. Um, get those wide and out of the way, kind of plie your, knee, your knees a little bit. Think like a, like a ballerina. Um, and, and that'll keep you from going around your knees because right there you can see your knees in the way big time. Alright, you get past them right here. You start an early bend a little bit. Alright, bending, bending super early. Really big bend in that arm. And then, um, you know that cue I was telling you that I learned from the uh, Kendrick Ferris seminar? Um, alright, so you want to think like that target is straight above you, straight in front of you, uh, I'm sorry, straight over your head. Um, yeah, look where you're aiming at. So your target is probably back here is where you're aiming. And you'll see that. You want to keep your, uh, so what will help with this is keeping a, a, find a spot on the wall. Just like, a, like in your starting position when I said, uh, which was good that you started with your eyes on the horizon. All right, now think uh, if you're looking at a straight wall, right? You're looking at something on the horizon. Keep your eyes on that for the entire lift. Here you you start with your eyes straight and up forward a little bit, uh, or straight forward and up a little bit, uh, and then you look almost behind you and look at your target. Alright, uh, remember you're aiming for the target behind you and that causes you to bring your hips forward a lot. A lot. And that weight, right there, boom. Already starting to come down the toes. And you're jumping off your toes. Um, your your target is, is behind you. Your eyes are like, you don't even, it's like you, you don't even know where you are. <laughs> Almost. And you're fucking strong. Your posterior chain is strong. That's why you can deadlift a quarter ton. And hang snatch was my squat snatch. Um, so you get it up. You barely even get under it. And you land it. But see how you pretty much open your eyes kind of. And that weight's like, oh, where am I going to catch it? And that's, how you, that's why you catch like this. And you're just like, oh. So you almost lose it behind you. So remember, keep your eyes on the horizon, straight forward, eyes open. Keep that head um, going at a target straight above you and not behind you, like where your target is now. Um, but other than that, just those little things, man. Um, keeping the weight back on the heels. Uh, I gave you a drill that, that could fix that, which was having a platform underneath your feet and keeping your toes off of it. So you only feel the, the, the heel and the balls of your feet on the board um, and, and getting some weight on a barbell 
and snatching like that, um, you've had an early pull problem for as long as I can remember. Um, and just working on uh, clean pulls or snatch pulls, um, keeping those art arms straight. Um, and then, yeah, right here, just get pleading those knees out as, mu as much as you can, getting those knees out of the way, uh, I think will help with keeping that weight back on your heels. Other than that, man, you have potential to get some, some, some gnarly snatches. I, I'd say you easily have like a 245 squat snatch. If you just fix that early pull, you can start actually squat snatching again. And uh, and fixing that uh, that uh, that bang in the bar. So remember, chaperone party. All right, right here, boom. And you're banging it so hard, you see your head move forward a little bit. So, boom. But um, me, pretty pretty strong, two o five power snatch. Um. But yeah, that's what I saw, Shelby.